This is Twit. All right, here it is, the Pixel 3. Um, oh, by right. the way, right now it's in the slideshow mode. So I have, this is, uh, I chose some, uh, some, these are my kids. I chose some uh, pictures from <laughs> Class Clown, Henry Laporte. I wonder, <laughs> wonder how he got that title. Yeah. This is the dash. This is a kind of a nice feature. It turns it into a photo frame. In fact, it works uh, on the Pixel stand sideways as well. It charges and will do the photo frame sideways. And I mentioned it has that alarm feature. That's really nice. So unfortunately, this is way overpriced. The Pixel stand is $70. Uh, but it's it's standards compliant, so you can pick your it's own. It's a cheat charger. In yeah. fact, we just showed it works with the iPhone and the Samsung yeah. Galaxy Note. So I like that. Let's talk about the phone a little bit. When you, when you compare it to a Samsung or an Apple a 10s, it really is very similar, both in size uh, and screen. These are this is a Samsung screen now on the uh, Pixel 3 XL, uh, which means it's a beautiful OLED screen. Now let me show you though. The notch, because that's the one thing yeah, I've people heard... are really upset about is the notch. Now let me let me well, turn on the iPhone. Themselves, because if you compare the two, the iPhone notch is wider but shorter. Yeah, the Pixel Three notch is narrower. People were complaining about how wide it was. Well, not that wide. It's a little longer. But remember, it is not only just two cameras. Most screens now have notches because in order to do yeah. uh, all the way to the edge, you've got to do that. It's got not only two cameras. You can see it. But it's got a speaker in here, and there's a, a matching chin, which other people don't like. Well, uh, look, do you want speakers or not? Yeah, speakers, you want speakers which speakers work or not, or not so yeah. get over it. Yeah. You know? In fact, <laughs> let me uh, let me play something on the speakers because I actually think the speakers sound. Ooh, uh, Ramstein. No, <laughs> just the twit theme. Ah, okay. But the, the speakers are loud. They are left-right stereo. Hmm. I don't think bass is huge, but you can hear that over no, there pretty that, loud, that's right? That's a really good set of speakers. I mean, if somebody fired that up on my way into work and on the train, I would go over and slap be them. Mad. <laughs> yeah. It's fine, though, for podcasts, for audiobooks, yeah. for watching YouTube videos. Oh, you could even have it in the that's car what speakers, seat beside you. Yeah. That's what speakers on a phone are for. You're yeah. not expecting... Now, admittedly, there's no headphone jack, so you're going to be using either the, the, the wired Type-C headphones that yeah. come with it, which are, by the way, quite good. Hmm. They now have a little loop that goes in your ear, kind of like the Pixel Buds did. Oh, okay. Yeah, which makes them fairly secure in the ear. The sound quality is uh, pretty good. They're, yeah. You know, they're, they're give me headphones, but they're not bad for headphones. Unlike Apple, Google does continue to put a dongle in here that adapts Type-C to... As the, they should. I mean, if you're going to yeah, take Apple, away stop the, doing that. I know. It's utterly shameless. It drives, it, you know, it's just like, give us more money now. <laughs> Google includes a 12-watt uh, fast charger in here with Type-C to Type-C. Uh, they include also an adapter. And that's actually one of the things I really like about the Pixel phones. You can use the Type-C connector to your old phone mm -hmm. or with the adapter to almost any phone and automatically copy data over. And yeah. It's a very quick, easy, painless uh, setup. I was able to activate it. In fact, because I'm on Google Fi, I didn't even need to change the SIM. Mm. I opened my Pixel 2 and I said, there's no SIM. How is this working? Well, it's a <laughs> SIMless design if, if your carrier supports it as Google Fi does. Uh, that makes it very easy to transfer everything over. Mm. I really think they've solved the screen issues. You remember there were a lot oh, of Oh, the blue wash screens with yeah. the Pixel 2. Yeah, yeah. And, and I remember when I scrolled on the Pixel 2, there was a lag in it that made it kind of rubbery. They've solved all that. This is a Samsung display this time, and I think it's uh, a very nice display. Display made degrees uh, said it was one of the top yeah. displays, maybe the best display it had used. But really, if you're going to get this, you get it for a couple of reasons. You get it because it's Google's, so it's yeah. going to be secure. It's it's the latest you, version of I was going to say, you get the latest and greatest security updates, and you get Project Fi, and you get, yeah. And you don't get a lot of cruft. You don't get Samsung's TouchWiz stuff. Now, you may like that. Uh, mm. Some people do. I like the idea of having a really, uh, just kind of a pure phone on here. Yeah, you, this, I'm the same when it comes to phones. I want the minimum amount of bloatware on there, yeah. and, you know, Good and you shot. can see I have the September 5th patch, the most recent patch on there. And that's one other good thing about having a Pixel phone is you're guaranteed to have the latest security yeah. patches on here. And you get them for, before anyone else. In fact, that's another thing Google's addressing the security issues with Android by, like Apple and Samsung, having a secure Enclave hardware yeah. security in there. Google uh, calls that chip their Titan chip. Indeed, they were making a big thing about this this yeah. week. I think that, uh, you know, this would be a good one for Kyle to ask him what he thinks about yeah. that. The idea, though, of a secure hardware-based enclave is keys can be stored in there and not accessible yeah. uh, to the outside world. I mean, world. Apple have been doing this for a while, but Google now has, has finally joined them. I mean, they've had similar chips to the Titan in the Chromebooks for a right. while. 
but this is the first time they put them in the phone. And it's important when you're using biometrics to unlock a phone, as, as here you're using mm -hmm. a fingerprint reader, you don't want that fingerprint image to get access, be accessible to anybody outside the Absolutely phone. Absolutely not. You want to no. lock that in there. Uh, this, by the way, is now an all-glass back. This is a t textured glass back. Yeah, I Some have complained about scratches on that. The glass back means it can do uh, charging, wireless charging. Oh, sure, but at the same time, if you drop it, that thing's going to... So yeah, that, that's that's what happened to my my first Pixel is that the back got so cracked up because I kept on dropping it. As with any modern phone, mm, yeah, you're going to want a case nowadays. Yeah. Oh, no. you're gonna want if, a case. if you're using a smartphone without a case, as I was, I yeah. had only myself to blame. Yeah, you could squeeze the bottom as before to uh, launch the Google Assistant. Some people like that feature. You can turn it off if you don't like it. That's called Active Edge, and that'll work through a phone through most phone cases as well. Yeah, yeah. It does. It, it works quite well. Mm. Three colors, black, white, and pink, although they're called <laughs> clearly white, just black, and not pink. Yeah. And I'm kind of mad at myself. I wasn't man enough to, to order the pink phone. I really should have. My masculinity was in doubt. I didn't want a pink <laughs> phone, so I got a black phone. That's kind of boring, but it matches all the other boring phones. Look yes. how much phones look alike these days. They're it all does just... look like an Alabama family tree, but no, <laughs> They're all just curvy glass screens, all... Bezel, uh, bezeled screens. The real thing that you we're talking about here with the Pixel, I think the real differentiator is the camera. Mm. And I was blown away. Now, yesterday... You uh, showed me some of that stuff. Yeah, Lisa and I went into yeah. town. We've talked a lot about this. Not By the way, not all the features that Google has touted are in the phone yet. They will come along in time. Yeah. And some of them will come to the Pixel 2. Mm. So that... That that special DSP that's in here for 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 imaging yeah. is is in the Pixel 2. Uh, the, it's an older one, but it can do many of the same things. the The real key to understand this is, like all camera phones, you have a very small space, so the lens isn't mm -hmm. going to be large and it's not going to be super sophisticated. Yeah. What Google's saying is, doesn't matter because we can take the imaging we're getting out of here and process it in such a way computational photography that the images look really good plus the f chip in here which is a, an 845 qualcomm snapdragon is fast enough that we can capture many images yes. at every time you press the button and use those stacked images to do a lot for instance because your hand moves ever so slightly mm -hmm. during the milliseconds between shots they actually can use parallax it's like they can actually use like these multi basic uh, yeah. pixels, they don't have it in here, but they actually can get lots more image They've put a phenomenal amount of work into that. It's really That's... impressive. Uh, watch our interview last week uh, with uh, um, uh, Ars and I'm sorry, DP Review, because mm -hmm. they did some great uh, work on this. Let me pull up some photos, and I'll just show you a couple of things. What is missing... Uh, currently from this is the top shot feature. That's that's coming at some point. But the night shots are very good. Uh, this comes from multiple images. Again, oh, you're stacking them, you're doing HDR. Uh, it is. It, this is at late night in San Francisco. We went up to the city yesterday to take pictures. Uh, there's the Apple Store. Yeah. The, I sh this is a this is a, a good example of a darkened alleyway. I mean, this was really dark. If I zoom in on the image, on the graffiti way in the back, maybe if you pixel peep it a little bit, it's it's not perfect. But bear in mind, that's a mobile phone it's camera in the, it's in in the, the dark. dark. 30 feet away. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was actually pretty impressed with the capabilities uh, of this camera. Let me show you. The other thing that is a, a big issue with camera phones is zoom. Mm. Uh, you know, with camera phones, unlike a, uh, a you know a DSLR, you have one lens. It's usually a wide, roughly twenty-eight millimeter lens. This is the shot from the street in Chinatown of the three-block distant Transamerica Pyramid. Um, now, watch this because on the screen you pinch to zoom. Yep. Or I guess what's the opposite of pinch? Unpinch. Um, splay. <laughs> splay. <laughs> you splay to zoom. So I splayed it to zoom in. This is the same distance. But zoomed in, and I would say that zoomed in five, six times. Yeah. And I have to say, the image quality is quite good. Now, I'll zoom, I'll zoom in a little bit more on this, and you can see it does get a little bit soft in some of the details. But considering how much you're zooming, that's not bad. Normally, with a camera phone, zoom means blow up the picture with all the accompanying pixelation and distortion. Mm. And 
This does a pretty darn good job. It's capturing multiple images. Some of them, when it's uh, dark at night, as low as a quarter of a second. You can't hold a handhold a quarter of a second, but it gives you the chance to get really great night images. Now, I've turned off motion. Almost all of these were shot with motion on. Right. Motion degrades the photos on the iPhone. It actually gives you a lower quality image, but doesn't seem to do that on the Pixel 3. These are late night shots. Uh, now, remember, when, when we're looking at these shots, that there are some things that are very bright, like that sign, mm -hmm. some things that are not. The sky it's was equal, almost dark. Yeah, it's equaled them out quite nicely. This is HDR, and it's doing a spectacular job of the HDR. So this was at dusk when you were taking it. Yeah. Oh, well, let me show you some portraiture, too, because I think the portrait mode is really excellent. Now, uh, 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 according to uh, Google with the portrait mode, uh, you see it's got two images here. This is the portrait image. And, uh, and this is the uh, standard image, I can actually change the depth of field. Let me click for more options. Uh, maybe that, that doesn't say here. You can on the phone, and I think maybe they haven't added this yet to uh, Google Photos, but on the phone, you can change the background uh, focal length. You can actually tap any part of the picture, say, focus on this. Mm. And that really gives you, I think, some, some great imagery. This was a uh, Chinese Kodo player. <laughs> <laughs> There's my wife and a giant bulldog. There's me and my new friend. Uh -huh. This is actually a good example. You can see I've blurred out the background. Yeah. Give it a very nice bouquet. That's a, great, that's a great picture. I Honestly, I am really impressed with this phone. The detail, the crispness of the imagery, the quality of the colors, the quality of the exposure, even in low light. Uh, this is as good as I've ever seen. I, I shot a lot of pictures, similar pictures with the iPhone. Uh, 10s and uh, l later I'll put up some uh, comparison images uh, for you. Here's the cable car uh, turnaround on Powell Street. It's pitch black. I mean, it is dark. There's there's light in pools, but there's enough light, I guess, for the phone to figure out. And it's doing uh, HDR photography to get uh, everything uh, pretty nicely exposed. I am actually tempted at this point to t take my next trip. Normally, I take very nice mm -hmm. cameras. Do an experiment and just take a Pixel 3 XL and see if the imagery I get, I think it will be just as satisfying. I'm, I'm really excited about what's happening here. The only thing that worries me about Pixel phones is that Google's got this thing about artificial, artificial obsolescence. Because how long are they going to carry on supporting this? I've heard two years, possibly three years. But you know, well, that seems true. to me to be, to be a very odd way to go about things. You should you be able to use devices as long as you like, yeah. within reason. I mean, op Windows is supported for 10 years at a time. Yeah. Um, um, and but I have to say, this is in general kind of the idea with smartphones is two years and out. Yeah, you keep your phone for a long time. I've still got a flip phone. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I mean, use it that often, apart from DEF CON. But that's... they've really pushed people in the direction of you know yeah. you want. In fact, all the companies now uh, offer Apple's you doing it. upgrades yeah. where every year you get the newest phone and you just yeah. continue to pay a monthly fee. And I think that that's in response to what consumers want, which is, well, look, it's going to be $32 a month for the rest of my life, and I'll always have the latest iPhone. The only reason I don't do that is because I, what if I break it, and I'm, yeah. then I'm out a lot of money. Uh, you but get also, Apple I mean, you're a tech Apple's. guy. You need to be trying out the latest I, and, and I'm, phones, Look, at, so. these are my three current phones. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the Pixel 3, the Apple 2, uh, I mean, sorry, the Apple 10. You'd have to wear uh, three holsters. Yes, yeah. Max, and the Note 9. Well, there's another one coming on Friday. In fact, we'll have our review uh, next week. Mm -hmm. The iPhone XR is ah. coming out. So I will be a four-phone family <laughs> all by myself. No, I really like the Pixel 3. It mm. is going to be probably my daily driver. I'm very impressed. With yeah, I think I may have one. to get one. Yeah, really nice. Battery life, it's got a fairly small battery, 29, 15 yes, smaller milliamp battery hours. Than the Pixel 2, as I saw from the iPhone uh, the uh, For the regular and 34, 30 the milliamp hours. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, you know, if it's, I haven't had it long enough to know whether it's going to be enough. Nowadays, most of the phones I have are roughly the same. Yeah. Towards the end of the day, they might be getting a little low. And but you've always got the fast charge as well. So you can plug it in for 15 right. minutes, you'll get enough to get you That's home. exactly right. 18 watt fast charging. Uh, and of course, Qi wireless charging. Uh, let's see, what else? Bluetooth 5, it's got, of course, GPS and Glasnost and all the, all the usual features. I am very excited about new camera features coming like Top Shot. But you could see with the stuff that I already it's got, it, it really is pretty good. You do get unlimited online storage in Google Photos of exactly. original quality images when you buy a Pixel phone, and I think that's a nice feature. Through 20-something, 20 2020 or something. Um, there's a few other things that flip to shush. 
A lot of phones have mm-hmm. had that in the past where you flip it over, it shuts it up. Yep. Uh, the, oh, I should mention the digital well-being, which is now fully implemented. I've turned that on. When I go to bed at night, the phone stops all notifications, doesn't even put them on the screen. So there's right. no temptation. And it makes the screen black and white. So they're really, the phone is just like, I don't want it that. No, I think that's a great idea because yeah. I'm getting heartily sick of waking up in the middle of the yep. night when the phone goes yep. ping. Yep. Yep. My wife's even more sick of it. But <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's the Pixel uh, 3. The Pixel 3 itself is $799. The 3XL... Eight ninety nine, and that is for the sixty four gig version. There is for a hundred bucks more a yeah. one hundred twenty eight gig version. Four hundred forty three. You're going to be storing all your stuff in the cloud anyway, so you know. yeah. Four hundred uh, for the smaller phone. Four hundred forty three pixels per inch. This phone has a five hundred. I don't know why I would need this. Five hundred twenty three pixel per inch. Uh, At this point, display. it's it's just a it's person, crazy. It's uh, yeah, crazy bragging talk. Rights contest. Crazy talk. Uh, there it is. Pixel three XL. Mm. And you don't have to blur my phone number. Everybody knows it. I don't answer the phone. <laughs> Actually, there's one new feature in here that I haven't had a chance to try yet. But if you get a call that's suspicious, mm. there's a button you can push on there and say, please screen this call. And you can it will actually pick up the call, say, mm. Leo's screening calls right now. Who are you and what do you want? Nice. And then you can either listen to it or send them directly a voicemail. I think that that is a really nice feature. <laughs> I, no one's calling me. Call me now so I can try it, will you, everybody? <laughs> no. Be please. careful what you wish for. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding.